Hi there, it's Hannah from Team MV, and today I am going to be walking you through some of the pros and cons of using MailChimp's free plan with Ember Vault. So first off the bat, you get a very generous subscriber limit, which is really nice. You can see here you get up to 2,000 contacts on your list before you would need to upgrade to a, a paid plan with MailChimp. You also have the ability to use landing pages and sign-up forms, which can be really useful for getting more people on your list. And you have access to the Content Studio and Creative Assistant, both of which are tools for helping you with social media and marketing. And the Creative Assistant also gives you smart recommendations for different marketing actions you can take in your account. So maybe it's telling you how to do better subject lines or maybe encouraging you to grow your list, um, different little suggestions that pop up on your MailChimp page. And most importantly, one of the pros is that it's very easy to integrate with Member Vault. So if we go over here to our little demo account, if you are in email integration, so you'd be in your dashboard, toggle integrations down, select email, and then go to company, and you can see MailChimp is right there. So it's, you actually might not be able to see this on the screen that I'm sharing, but hopefully you can. Um, when you do the drop down menu, you will see that MailChimp is listed there. And I will show you how to integrate this in a future video. Another pro of the free plan is having audience and engagement analytics. So you can see who your audience is, what email they're opening, which ones they're ignoring, and you can determine from there if you need to be working on your subject lines or if you need to work on the content. And it's really useful to just have those as an extra set of analytics. Member Vault already has a really great set of user data for you to look at, but you can also compare that with your MailChimp data as well. So the numbers are always great to have no matter what platform you're using. Now, a couple of cons with using the free plan on MailChimp. So I know on this page it says one-step automations, and this is a bit of a catch to this because they used to have classic automations and now they have something called customer journeys. You can set up a customer journey on the free plan, but in order to actually turn that automation on, you would need to be on a paid plan. And then for classic automations, if you have had a free MailChimp plan for a while and you have used a classic automation in the past, you can still do so. However, new accounts or any account that has never used a classic automation actually don't get access to this feature anymore. So we have a demo account as Team MV with MailChimp and we actually don't have the ability to set up a classic automation because we had never done one before. We just had this as a basic tester account. So just keep that in mind that automated emails are something we really do strongly encourage with Member Vault and just strategy for welcoming in your new users and letting them know how to log into their account, all that sorts of, of things there. We really do encourage having a welcome email in place. So it's useful to be able to automate this when you're getting new signups. And that is going to be pretty difficult with the MailChimp free plan because you no longer have access to the classic automation if you've never used it before and you can't actually have your customer journey be live unless you are on a paid plan. Now you can play around with setting it up and you can get all the information in there, but when you're actually going to turn it live, you would have to switch over to a paid plan with MailChimp as of the time of recording this video, which is fall of 2022. And another con is that MailChimp is not a two-way integration with Member Vault. So if you are using an external sales cart like SamCart or ThriveCart, you wouldn't actually be able to set up a webhook like you could in ActiveCampaign, for instance, or ConvertKit. Um, you wouldn't be able to set up a webhook within MailChimp to tell Member Vault that you have a new user. So you would have to use a third party tool like Zapier in order to achieve this. Now it's still definitely possible, it just adds an extra step and adds an extra tool that you would need to make this happen. And that's pretty much it the pros and cons of using the free plan on MailChimp with Member Vault. And stay tuned for the next video where I will walk you through how to connect your MailChimp account to your Member Vault.